Good evening and welcome to the 2020 Senior Awards Night. I'm Jeff Erickson, the principal of Minnetonka High School, and welcome to our first virtual ceremony. It is my pleasure to welcome you tonight. You might be watching from your home, out on your patio, students who could be in your hammock, but regardless of our format, we're broadcasting from a familiar spot in our school, the Commons. And regardless of that format, nothing can detract you from your amazing accomplishments this year as a class and over the past 13 years in and out of the classroom. It has been another exceptional, albeit not normal year, and tonight we celebrate you, the class of 2020, and your accomplishments. At MHS, we ask all students to excel in the four A's, academics, arts, athletics, and activities, all while developing a strong moral compass. The students recognized tonight excel in these areas, and then some. Seniors, I am in awe of what you've done, and I'm so excited for the future and what awaits you. At MHS, our goal is making students better leaders to make the world a better place, and I have no doubt of what you'll accomplish in the years ahead. So tonight, we hit the pause button and celebrate you, the senior class. And this is the first time ever we can actually hit the pause button during the ceremony at home and rewatch any of these segments. We're gonna celebrate all the accomplishments. So first, let's have a virtual round of applause to all students at home. I hope you're applauding right now. I'll wait for that. Thank you. And also, we wanna acknowledge another great group, the parents. I want to thank all the parents for their tremendous support over the past 13 years. Students, make sure you thank your parents this evening for all their support. I'm grateful. Lastly, students, I just want to say congratulations. This year I have been in awe of you and your leadership and I can't wait to celebrate you tonight. Our first part of the program is we're going to be celebrating seniors and providing scholarships for students. I want to first want to thank all of the different organizations that have provided resources to our students so they can continue in their post-secondary work. The first scholarship is a STRIVE scholarship. STRIVE stands for Students Trying to Renew Their Interest in the Value of Education. They meet with Rotary Club mentors throughout their senior year to encourage students in their life choices, academic growth, and work aspirations. Scholarships are awarded to students who improve academically during their senior year and are designated to be used for post-secondary education. Congratulations to this year's awards winner, Aidan Belsley, Joe Collins, Adriana Lawrenson, Clara Von Felt, and Katie Zack. The Class of 1963 Creative Writing Scholarship is next. The Class of 1963 Creative Writing Scholarship is presented to a senior who has strong writing skills, as well as ability to create wonderful and unique stories. This year's recipient of a $1,000 scholarship is Colby Newland. Congratulations, Colby. Class of 1964, moving one year ahead. The Class of 1964 Scholarship. The Class of 1964 Scholarship is awarded to a Minnetonka senior who is committed to their studies, positively impacts the school community, and is excited about their next steps in their educational journey. Congratulations to Anna Lewis, this year's Class of 1964 Scholarship. Class of 1989 Scholarship. The Class of 1989 Scholarship is presented to two seniors who demonstrate growth during the school years and are committed to making positive connections in the school community. We are excited to award this year's scholarships to Joshua Butcher, and Sarah Greep. Excelsior American Legion Post 259 Clarence Clofer Scholarship. The Excelsior American Legion Post 259 Scholarship connects students' learning to their impact on society. Students' applicants are asked to write an essay responding to a prompt that asks them to articulate how advancing their education will influence citizenship. Congratulations to this year's recipients, Macy Anninson, and Garrett Sinelstein. The Minnetonka Lions Club Scholarship. The Minnetonka Lions Club awards a scholarship each year to a senior who has impaired vision or of sight, loss of hearing or other disability, and who has risen above their condition with determination and grace. This year's scholarship of $1,000 is Clara Von Felt. The Minnetonka Rotary Scholarship. The Minnetonka Rotary Scholarship is presented to a Minnetonka graduate who demonstrates a commitment to academic studies a passion for community service, and pursuing a future associate's or bachelor's degree. Congratulations to this year's recipient, Elizabeth Holmes. Victoria Lions Club Scholarship. The Victoria Lions Club Scholarship is designated for a resident of Victoria who has demonstrated a commitment to advancing their community by engaging in community service. This year's recipient is Benjamin Norheim. Congratulations, Benjamin. Ridgeview Foundation Healthcare Scholarship. Each year, Ridgeview offers a $2,000 scholarship to an area college-bound high school seniors 
interested in pursuing a health career. Beginning in 2018, the Ridgeview Healthcare Scholarship Program expanded to a system-wide program that now supports all three of our hospitals, Ridgeview Medical Center, Ridgeview Sibley Medical Center, and Ridgeview Lesseur Medical Center. The three hospitals work together to award scholarships to one student from each of the 20 local area high schools in the Ridgeview service area. Congratulations to this year's recipient, Macy Annenson. Cop Family Foundation Scholarships. The Cop Family Foundation Scholarships are awarded to seniors who embody what it means to be a skipper, leading with kindness and empathy. This year's recipients have demonstrated what it means to do the right thing and represent us well. Congratulations to Olivia Graupman, Catherine O'Neill, and Hayes Richmond. The next scholarship, the Sundom Family Scholarship. The Sundom Family Scholarship is awarded to a senior who demonstrates a commitment to leadership, excels in athletics, lettering in two different sports, all while placing a high value on their academic studies. Congratulations to this year's recipient, Reese Thompson. The Von Sloan Scholarship. The Van Sloan Scholarship is awarded to a senior who is passionate in the field of science and excels in this field of study. They look for a student who is pursuing a degree in horticulture, environmental studies, veterinary medicine, or other medical science fields. Congratulations to this year's recipient, Ellie Bergfalk. Twin West Chamber of Commerce Scholarship. The Twin West Chamber of Commerce Scholarship is awarded to students who will continue their education at a technical school or a community college. The award honors students with a commitment and high performance in coursework related to career and technical education. Congratulations to this year's recipients, Maggie Horning and Sam Shipman. The Excelsior Noon Rotary Make a Difference Scholarship. The Excelsior Tuesday Noon Rotary Club awards Make a Difference Scholarships to deserving seniors to help with their post high school education. Recipients are selected based on, a com on school and community involvement, as well as academic achievement and personal motivation. This year we have two $1,500 winners, Macy Annenson, Nicole Lindsay. We've also awarded two $1,000 scholarships to Johnny Rasmussen and William Sepasi. Congratulations and best wishes to these scholarship winners. The 2020 Coach Dave Nelson ICA Food Shelf Scholarship. Each spring, ICA awards a $500 scholarship to a Minnetonka senior who has volunteered and or supported the ICA Food Shelf and who will be attending a post-secondary educational institution this fall. The award is given in honor of a longtime dedicated member of our community. This year's honoree is Coach Dave Nelson. The student recipient, Grace Anderla. Congratulations, Grace, and thank you for volunteering your time and energy on our behalf. Girl Scout Service Scholarship. The Girl Scout organization is committed to fostering courage, confidence, and character, empowering individuals to positively impact the world. Congratulations to Macy Annenson. The Mark Allen Streeter Scholarship. The Mark Allen Streeter Scholarship is presented to a Minnetonka senior who is pursuing studies at a technical or community college. Additionally, the award winner is an individual who has demonstrated perseverance throughout their high school journey. Congratulations to this year's winner, Alex Arkipenkoff. The next scholarship is a Waitonka Club Scholarship. The Waitonka Club Scholarship is awarded to a senior who is pursuing a career in the medical field. The senior must demonstrate a passion for volunteering and a commitment to ongoing service. Congratulations to this year's winner, Macy Annenson. The next scholarship is a Jude Sandberg Memorial Scholarship. The Jude Sandberg Memorial Scholarship was established to honor Jude Sandberg, who passed today tragically in September 2017 one day before he was to begin a kindergarten in the Minnetonka Public Schools. His father, Jeffrey, and other family members and friends established a memorial fund to support a Minnetonka student whose achievements are aligned with activities that Jude loved. The scholarship recipient is a senior with a strong academic record who has lettered in at least two varsity sports and who plans to pursue a four-year college program in science or engineering. The recipient of this $2,500 scholarship is Julia Ruel, congratulations. Our next scholarship is in memory of Archer Amorosi. Presented to seniors who have participated in football or lacrosse with a preference to someone who had a relationship with Archer. This year's winners for the scholarship in memory of Archer Amorosi are Elliot Ishi and Jacob Bear. The donors have asked to share this message with our winners. 
Almost two years ago, Archer Thomas Amorosi, a young man very close to our family, lost his life. To honor the memory of his short life and the impact he made on so many people, including his teammates, friends, and family, we would like to present the two of you with an Achievement Award. We have directed the award to recognize a young person who was not only a football or lacrosse teammate, but a friend to Archer, who knew his larger-than-life personality, always with football under his arm, and shared his incredible passion for the sports he loved. It was also very important that the criteria for the award be a high-achieving student who will take his Minnetonka High School education forward for further learning to the college of his choice. Given these requirements, your teachers and counselors felt you were the best choice. Again, we ask that the memory of Archer Amoroso stay alive with you as you move past high school into your next chapter of life. Stay healthy and happy, Susan and Michael Shields. The Minnetonka Paraprofessional Scholarship. The Minnetonka District Paraprofessional Support, a scholarship that is awarded to a senior who has demonstrated academic accomplishments and a strong personal integrity and character in and out of the classroom. This year, the child of a Minnetonka Paraprofessional selected to receive this scholarship is Jack Slater. The Minnetonka Teachers Association MTA Scholarship is next. Sponsored each year by the Minnetonka Teachers Association, this scholarship recognizes an outstanding all-around student who will be pursuing a career in education, such as teaching, social work, or counseling. The students selected in 2020 are Taya Johnson and Hannah Olson. Student Support Services Scholarship. A few years ago, one of Minnetonka seniors and his family donated $25,000 in Mrs. Pankoff's honor to recognize the work of the Student Support Services Department. The family asked for the scholarship to be awarded in $2,000 increments, each year to a student with special needs who's planning to continue their post-secondary education or training. This year, one of the applicants demonstrated a sense of spirit, grit, and optimism that resonated with the committee. That student is Alexander Arkipenkov. Congratulations, Alex. The John Allen Hitz World Language Scholarship. John Allen Hitz was a 1981 Minnetonka High School graduate and a Spanish student. He loved foreign languages and travel and was a leader amongst his peers. His father wanted to, this scholarship to be named in his honor to support other high school students like John who want to continue the language studies. John's Spanish teacher described him as a fine young man, always positive, creative, and friendly. Two scholarships in the amount of $2,000 each will be awarded this year to graduating seniors. Alexander Farrell, and Faith Quist. Felicitaciones, Alexandra and Faith. The Mary Beth Wig Scholarship honors a former counselor and friend. Mary Beth, in her 30 years in the district, worked tirelessly for all students, especially with ones who overcame the odds to find success. A champion on the softball field and school, Mary Beth impacted the lives of so many students and families that the counseling office thought it only right to go on impacting students in her name. The recipient of the Mary Beth Wig Scholarship for 2020 is Anna Lewis. Congratulations, Anna. Archer AIM Scholarship is next. The vision of Archer's AIM is to be an ear and a voice for all student athletes who are impacted by mental illness. The blue logo A12 represents hope for so many youth who struggle with their mental health and cannot talk about it. Understanding and acceptance from those who don't, peace for those lost and survived, and the devotion of champions to make it better. These scholarships are funded by hundreds of Minnetonka community members who are proud of each recipient. Recipients are Megan Collins, Ray Osman, Addison Baylor, and Sophia Montague. Congratulations. Minnetonka Community Education Award. Minnetonka Community Education would like to recognize eight Youth Development Council seniors. These seniors have given countless hours of serving their community, leading events, and engaging in service projects, and making a difference to those around them through events and service projects, such as fifth grade finales, East Meets West, holiday family giving, and a rake -a Thank you for your service to the Youth Council development and best luck as you step forward in the next chapter in your life. Congratulations to the following. Kaylin Hermanson, Elizabeth Holmes, Carson Johnson, Annie Keenan, Benjamin Lesage, William Manning, Sean O'Mara and Juliana Torelli. Good evening, seniors and parents. It's an honor for me to be part of tonight's uh, awards program. Uh, each year for the last 13 years, I've given the Dennis Peterson uh, Scholarship for 
academic excellence and uh, this year uh, I'm honored again to recognize one of your classmates. Uh, over the years I've given over $30,000 to Minnetonka graduates and I will continue that into the uh, future of course. This year's uh, senior is uh, very worthy of this award and uh, I'm proud to give it to Anna Wander. Anna, congratulations. Seniors, uh, it's a great honor for me to be part of your program tonight and to uh, honor some of you. Uh, we'll certainly be honoring all of you uh, as we get closer to the end of the year and uh, make some determination when we'll have graduation ceremonies and so forth. You've been a truly outstanding class all the way through Minnetonka High School and uh, we're gonna miss you. Uh, you've provided great leadership. Uh, you've shown exam by example that you're scholars and care about uh, your school and you care about each other. Uh, I'm really s very sad that we can't do this program live and have the emotion that goes along with uh, this kind of a program. But it is what it is and I know you're uh, making the best of it and hopefully you'll have great memories of all of your years at Minnetonka High School, including this one, and uh, I wish you well in the future. Thank you. Hello, everyone. This is Hayes Richmond here, and I will be presenting Student Government's Continued Commitment Award. Anybody who has been involved in or even around student government events for the past five or six years has most likely seen the recipients of this award, those recipients being Tim and Amy O'Neill. Tim and Amy are the parents of Katie and Ryan O'Neill, who have both served on student government, and Molly O'Neill, who is an incoming freshman on student government. Over my four years in StudGov, they have always been at almost every single event helping us out, from last minute trivia night runs, to bracket making, to bringing their world famous hot chocolate, Tim and Amy have always been a huge help to student government. Additionally, they are two of the kindest and most humble people that I have ever met which makes them all the more deserving of this award. So Tim and Amy, thank you so much, and I am so honored to present this award to you. Folks, how are we doing? Max Larman, your 2019-2020 Student Body Vice President, here to present the Unsung Hero Award. The Unsung Hero Award goes to somebody who does great deeds for not only our group, but our club, um, as well as just is present in our operations and is a huge help to our organization. Um, and they do great deeds and not necessarily are looking for any of the recognition, but we need to recognize them here for all their great work. Um, with that being said, this year's winner of the Unsung Hero Award goes to Miss Julie Musselman. Thank you so much for all you do, whether it's selling homecoming t-shirts, tickets, or just helping us out with anything that we need. We appreciate all that you do, and thank you so much for all of your hard work. Hello, my name is Katie O'Neill, and I am presenting Freya Shoemaker's MVP Award from Student Government. She has been our go-to admin this whole year, and has been super helpful with Heart Week and also finding a venue for prom. She is a kind, positive, and hardworking leader. She always puts others first and handles tough problems with grace and patience. She is heading to MMW next year to become their principal, and I know that we are all going to miss her a ton. Thank you, Freya, so much for all your hard work. The award for community MVP is presented to a member of the Minnetonka community who has gone above and beyond in collaboration with Minnetonka High School. This year's recipient has demonstrated immense generosity. He gave us his trust in allowing hundreds of students to use Original Pancake House as our venue for our annual trivia night fundraiser, has donated his time, resources, and gallons on gallons of milk for our annual cereal bar, and above all else, has been so supportive of Minnetonka family friends, Minnetonka High School student government, and the Minnetonka High School student body. It is with great honor that I announce that this year's recipient of the Community MVP Award is Mr. Tom Bruins. For this next award, I wanna start by saying it's never easy being a new person in something. There's a lot to learn, there's new people to meet, and in the case of Danny LaRusso from 1984's Karate Kid, you even have the Cobra Kai to deal with. However, like the Karate Kid, the person receiving this award went above and beyond the job description in their first year here. This person is patient, positive, supportive, genuine, hardworking, and above all, they make the testing room a place where kids actually enjoy going to. Now that being said, it's my pleasure to present this, the Rookie of the Year Award to a Miss Molly Keogs. On behalf of everyone, I want to say thank you for all your hard work this year. What makes Minnetonka special is the people. I have the honor to present the Skipper of the Year Award 
to a key staff member who exemplifies our core values and is somebody who constantly goes above and beyond what is expected. This person, in particular during the past two months, has had such a positive impact on our entire school community in helping out. I am pleased to announce this year's award goes to Jeremy Peacock. He's our campus facilities manager. During these past two months, during COVID-19 and the quarantine, he has been here helping making sure all the meals get taken care of and they go out into our community, making sure if you needed something in the building, he will go find it and provide curbside service. He is helping in the planning with all the events that are happening to make sure we can get materials back to students. But during that time, as well as before, he will constantly get it done with a positive attitude. Jeremy, I'm grateful for all your hard work. You've had an amazing impact in your time in Minnetonka High School, and I appreciate it all. Congratulations, Jeremy. Welcome. My name is Ted Schultz and the Student Activities Director for Minnetonka High School. I'm excited to be here today to present our Student of the Year Awards. It's a great time each year where we honor the best and the brightest their Activities Department has to offer. We'll start first with our Enrichment Scholar Students of the Year. Our female winner is Skylar Seats. She's in band and a legacy member. She carries a 3.99 and 4.56 GPA. Skylar is involved in many activities. Marching band, pep band, Earth Club, Whole Pulse, the Tonka Surf Steering Committee. She's a member of National Honor Society. She's a first mate, Spanish National Honor Society, IB bi Bilingual Diploma Candidate. She's involved with Women in STEM, and she's a member of the Fem Feminist Club. There's, there's nothing in this school that Skylar doesn't have her hands on. Next year, Skylar will attend William & Mary in Williamsburg, Virginia. I think it's just good to get involved because you meet really, really cool people. You get involved in things that, like I've discovered a lot of my passions just from getting involved. I got involved early on freshman year in some clubs that I maybe had some friends in or that I thought were kind of cool. And then I ended up finding some like real passions of mine through them. And it was like really, really good learning experience. You kind of find opportunities that you didn't know. And I think it's also just a good way to support and get involved in your school. Our male winner for the Enrichment Scholar Student of the Year is Dylan Tank Johnson. Dylan is a member of Jazz Band, Marching Band, and Pitt Orchestra. Dylan has been a mainstay in the band and orchestra for the last four years. He's a high achieving musician and demonstrates great leadership, compassion, and kindness. Miles Mortensen, his director, said this about Dylan. Dylan is very deserving of the Enrichment Scholar Student of the Year. He has high academic success, great character, and is a very talented musician. We will absolutely miss him next year. Dylan accomplished all this with carrying a GPA of 4.0. Congratulations, Dylan. It comes a lot from my family, from support of people around me, um, pushing me to practice, seeing excellence around me. Um, it really, really pushes me to, I'm really competitive, and it really pushes me to get to new heights and to just help the programs around me. And so that's really pushed me to practice a lot on my own and put in the work that's necessary to, to get there. Next award that we have for you today is our Enrichment Students of the Year, given to the overall strongest and most highly accomplished Enrichment student that we have for clubs and activities. Our female winner for Enrichment Student of the Year is Gina Schaefer for Robotics. Gina was captain of the robotics team. She's also coincidentally a track captain as well. She participates in Women in STEM and also volunteers in the Writing Center. She won the TWIST Award, which is for Target Women in Science and Technology Epic Award that recognizes high school girls who excel in STEM. Her robotics advisor commented, Gina is a go-getter with a perpetually happy personality. She's been a real asset to the robotics team, and she's been part of this team for several years. Next year, Gina will be studying biomedical engineering at the University of California, Davis. I don't want to take too much credit for it because it's obviously everybody who's on the team who makes it grow and change. Um, and it definitely started with a smaller group of people doing a lot, but um, it's grown a lot to ev everybody knows how to do something and they've become a bigger part of it as the years have gone by. Um, and that was really cool to see. So I think my part was just encouraging everybody to do things and using um, whatever influence I had as a leader on the team to help that growth. Our male Enrichment Student of the Year, given to the most outstanding student in clubs and activities, is from theater, Russell Williams. Russell performed in theater since the fourth grade. He has played many leading roles over the years in the MHS theater productions. More importantly, though, he provides strong student leadership with his fellow classmates. He's been part of many Spotlight Awards and many All-State and State Champion teams. He's been part of many 
one act play performances that have starred at the state meet and achieved great heights. Trent Boyum has commented, Russell is a positive and kind leader with a passion for life. He has a get the job done type attitude and through theater, Russell has helped his team understand the world in which they live in and better achieve what they hope to accomplish. He's a gently reminded them to practice gratitude and respect with all he does. Congratulations, Russell. For me, it's always kind of been about like the community. Like I've been doing theater since I think I was in first grade. And then I started working with Trent in fourth grade when he recommended me for this. Uh, he did this like workshop production of Little Rascals. And, um, and then through that, I made some like amazing friends. And then uh, I was doing some high school shows like as a kid during middle school. So I kind of had that connection there. And like since then, I don't know, like there's been a lot of competition, obviously, in theater with our uh, with such a renowned theater program, but like just the closeness and like the inner connectivity of the entire like theater department, just the friends I've made have been amazing. Next we'll present the award called the Einer Anderson Award, presented to the, in honor of Einer Anderson to the senior athletes that best exemplifies the characters of courage, humility, grace, faith, and dedication. Our male winner for the Einer Anderson Scholarship Award is Luke Tollefson. Luke was a member of the football and the cross team, earning five letters. He was a starting quarterback when six quarters into his senior season, his season was cut short, tearing his ACL, MCL, and his meniscus. Despite Luke's in injury, he kept being an unshakable leader both on the field. Despite this injury, Luke continued being an unshakable leader in the halls of MHS and in the athletic fields, offering his emotional support. Ironically, this injury has led Luke some clarity his decision for his career. He's going to study sports medicine or orthopedic surgery in the years to come. Dave Melson commented this about Luke. Luke is a model student athlete. We are all heartbroken for him when this injury happened, but his never ending positive attitude, his leadership and his character continued to shine all year at MHS. Luke is a special student. Congratulations, Luke. It's really hard, but you just got to think each day is a new day. Um, when things happen to you, you want to, it's easy to just kind of hide behind everyone else and just why did this happen to me why can't it be like why can't couldn't this not have happened but it's just thinking each day is a new day to grow a new day to get better and just keep working towards your goals our Einer anderson scholarship award winner for female athletes is julia ruel for cross country julia was a cross country captain and a national merit scholar julia has a perfect gpa of 4.0 and a weighted gpa of 4.5 Julia's sophomore year, she had one of the biggest setbacks of her life, being diagnosed with brain cancer. Despite all the treatments and all the hardships, Julia came out on top and defeated cancer. Julia has been a model student athlete, achieving greatness as a person, as a student, and as a leader here at MHS. Coach Jane Reimer Morgan said this about Julia. Julia is the kindest student that I've ever worked with. She leads, she helps, and she's just an amazing person. Her example has helped lead this team forward. Congratulations, Julia. Sophomore year is when I had the biggest challenges um, having had a cancer diagnosis. Um, but for me, during that time, what I realized is something that had been there all along, and it was that I have um, here at Minnetonka such an incredible network of support. Um, my friends stepped up, my teachers helped me to set up a schedule that worked for me, and um, my family was always there, and I was just so grateful to have this um, incredible support system for me when I needed it most. And then um, what was really exciting was to realize that not much really changed in terms of my interactions with people because that system had always been there, it just become more um, clear at that time when it was so needed. The next award we're giving today is our Scholar Athletes of the Year, presented to the male and female student athletes who have exhibited both academic and athletic excellence. Our male Scholar Athlete of the Year is from Alpine Ski, Eli Quist. Eli has a GPA of 3.977 and a weighted GPA of 3.34. During Eli's Alpine career, he's been a mainstay on the varsity team. He won one state championship, and as a team, they finished with two third place finishes. He was a two-time section champion and a two-time all-state selection. At the state meet in 2019, he placed fourth, and this last year, he placed third. Those are outstanding finishes for Eli. Uh, Coach Dave Gardner said this about Eli. Eli was a model student athlete. 
he excelled in the classroom and in competition. He will go down in Minnetonka Alpine history as one of the most storied skiers that we have had in our program. Congratulations, Eli. The support that's come from all my coaches and teachers and um, being able to surround yourself with people that are motivated to help you succeed um, in everything you want to do and achieve all of your goals is really powerful. Our female winner for Scholar Athlete of the Year is Kylie Mills. Kylie is a rare four sport letter winner in cross country, girls hockey, track and field, and girls soccer. This is a rare accomplishment by any athlete at Minnetonka High School. Not only did she achieve letters in these four sports, but she did, did this all by carrying a high GPA of 3.78 and a weighted GPA of 3.86. She has six letters in track, five letters in cross country, one letter in soccer, and three letters in girls hockey. She's a member of the 2019-2020 state third place team for girls hockey, as well as a state champion 4x800 meter relay team in 2019. Coach Jane Reimer Morgan said this about Kylie. Kylie was one of the best athletes we have seen. She has an amazing skill set. We will definitely miss her next year. Congratulations, Kylie. I really have to give credit to my teachers. I mean, and my coaches. They just really knew how to just allow me to run and play sports and then also just had a lot of focus on academics and kind of just it was just like there was a good balance at the school. We are now presenting the student athletes of the year. This year we have a co-winner for male and female. For the male class our first winner is Max Lowerman for cross country and boys track and field. Max earned nine varsity letters between the two sports. He has multiple MVP awards both his junior and senior years in cross country and track and field. He has numerous all-conference, conference championship, all-district, and all-state honors. Coach Jeff Renlund said this about Max. Max is an elite person. His combination of leadership and athletic performance is really second to none that I've coached in my coaching career. He's a tireless worker. He has great character. He is an integrity-filled person. Next year, Max will compete for Butler University in track and field, signing a national letter of intent. Congratulations, Max. Coming into this season, especially with the spring, I was like, well, I just got to run for what I can. And I mean, uh, it was really, it's a huge honor with so many kids and so many great athletes in our school. I mean, we have what, like 24 people going D1 signing their NLIs, which is awesome. And so, I mean, I think that was, it's just such an honor to be um, among the top of all those uh, very, very talented athletes going all around the country. Our next student athlete of the year, co-athletes of the year, is Elliot Ishi for football and boys lacrosse. Elliot was a two-sport captain in each of his sports, respectively. He was a two-year letter winner in football, defensive MV MVP twice as a junior and a senior. He was all-conference twice, all-district, and he set some remarkable records on the gridiron. Records for, ta records for tackles in a game, single tackles in a single season, and he set a career tackle record for the Minnetonka High School football team. In lacrosse, he was a four-year letter winner, all-conference, all-state, all-metro, and all-American. He set numerous records with the boys lacrosse program. Elliot did this all with a GPA over four. Coach Dave Nelson said this about Elliot. Elliot is playing Division I lacrosse, but he could have easily played Division I football. He has simply put the best of the best. He is a great athlete, a great person, and a great student. Next year, Elliot will compete for the University of Denver, signing a national letter of intent for boys lacrosse. Congratulations, Elliot. Playing football with all these kids for the last four years has been very special. Last year playing with the seniors ahead of me and then lacrosse as well. I've been playing with the same kids for five years. Last year the class ahead of me graduated. I've been playing with them since U13. Um, but that's my biggest takeaway from school and sports. It's just the friendships. Our female athlete of the year, Maggie Nicholson. Maggie is a four-year letter winner and two-year captain for the Minnetonka Skippers girls hockey team. She helped the Skippers to two dramatic section championship victories over Eden Prairie in 2019 and 2020. Those teams went on to finish third place in state in both respective years. In addition to her great accomplishments at Minnetonka High School, as part of the Minnetonka Skippers High School team, she served on three national teams for the United States and Team USA. As a captain this year, Maggie helped lead the 2020 national team to a gold medal having the game-winning assist in overtime to win the gold medal. Meg has received numerous awards, numerous all-conference awards, all-state, and was a Miss Hockey finalist. 
Coach Tracy Cassano said this about Maggie. Maggie is a great player, a fierce competitor. We're lucky to have her. She was so very, very good. Next year, Maggie will play hockey for the Golden Gophers, signing a National Letter of Intent scholarship at the U of M. Congratulations, Maggie. It's a huge honor. There's so many great athletes at Minnetonka and on the hockey team as well as all the other sports that we have at our school. But um, with all the support that I've played, or the, all the support that I've had and the great players that I've played with during my time there, um, it's a very big honor that I won't take for granted. A female athlete of the year, co-athletes of the year, is Skylar German. Skylar was voted runner-up for this year's Athena Award. Skylar was a five-year letter winner in volleyball four-year all-conference selection. She was all-metro, all-state, and was a Miss Volleyball finalist. Skyler helped lead the Skippers to a fourth place finish in the state volleyball tournament this past fall. This was the first state appearance for volleyball as a team since 1976. This was a remarkable accomplishment. Coach Carl Katzenberger commented this about Skyler. Skyler is a once-in-the-lifetime volleyball player and athlete. She did everything for us. Not only was she the best player on the court, no matter who we played, she was also the best teammate, encouraging her teammates and bringing out the best in them. Next year, Skylar will attend Long Beach State University, where she will play beach volleyball, signing a national letter of intent. Skylar, congratulations. Uh, I'm super competitive, so I'm, I'm always trying to get everybody, you know, uh, together so that we can win as a team. And I feel like if I encourage them in the right ways and if I pump them up, it's just going to make them uh, present the best of themselves. And uh, I think that's key to, uh, you know, winning games and, um, you know, being a good leader, honestly. Each year I honor two seniors with the MHS Principals Award. The purpose of this award is to acknowledge a senior who has truly led by example at MHS and lived up and exceeded our core values of doing the right thing and representing us well. This year I honor two who are incredibly authentic, compassionate, and demonstrate strong leadership. Further, both possess the critical skill that distinguish them as leaders. They not only create a vision, but they take action and make it happen. The first person I'd like to acknowledge this evening is Hayes Richmond. On Friday, I had the chance to surprise Hayes at his home and present this award. Hayes has served as the president of the student government. Hayes has led our school with kindness, inclusivity, respect, care, and humor. He has the ability to inspire others to lead through example. Hayes can take an idea and make it happen. He is truly respected by his peers and they show that same level of respect to him. He speaks highly of his teachers, even when they're not around. He values what he learns and he's always finding ways to apply it to the real world. He can entertain a staff of 180 teachers at 7.05 in the morning. One of his teachers wrote, Hayes exhibits the same genuine caring behaviors in the classroom as we see displayed in small or large group gatherings. He consistently models the attributes of what it means to be a skipper. Leading by example, integrity, responsibility. He is a perfect student president for a time like this. A caring person for everyone he interacts with, doing so with humility and grace that makes me very proud to know him and be known by him. I can say, since we moved to quarantine, I've counted on Hayes' leadership, advice, and insights as we've come together as a community. Congratulations, Hayes. I think more than anything, what exemplifies great leadership is being a leader for everyone. Um, I think one of the things I try to pride myself on is um, being kind and approachable to every person. I think that makes a really great leader. I think also just um, dedication and communication as well just being there is huge um, just showing up to the events and um, is how you show leadership through what you do. Our second principal's leadership award goes to Brooke Doing. Brooke's leadership has been visible in so many aspects of our school. As you know we have two core values as a school to do the right thing and represent us well. She does this as she leads with kindness, empathy, positivity and a get-it-done approach. She is, a, she is a charismatic leader and a positive role model. This fall you saw her impact on the football field as she co-led the amazing homecoming pep fest. Leadership requires attention to detail, follow through, and a vision. She did so exceptionally well and this event impacted the entire community. Brooke was a part of our amazing volleyball team that had an exceptional run to state. In terms of her academics, Brooke has been part of the Vantage program. This January, I had a chance to witness Brooke present as part of a Vantage Business Analytics class to the senior executives of Best Buy. 
including the CEO herself. This is an opportunity that few have. She, along with her team, did an amazing job. Her AP stats teacher, Mr. Breen, wrote, I would endorse Brooke for this award in the strongest terms. She is a true leader in our classroom and believes teachers and students alike would single her out as such. She is kind, fun, and funny, and displays all these traits equally with students and teachers. She stands out above all in terms of which student I was looking most forward to traveling to New York, a trip that she had been part of the planning. She stands out as a leader that she's willing to put herself out there in front of the class, not needing to be right or perfect every time she speaks. Brooke, I've been so amazed with your leadership. Congratulations on this well-deserved award. I think my freshman and sophomore year, I tried to be a leader, but I just couldn't quite get there. And then my junior and senior year, especially being a part of Vantage, has really helped me. And I think Pet Fest has been a huge help, and I really enjoy um, leading other people, and I enjoy getting other people's feedback. And I think that Minnetonka does a great job teaching everyone how to be a great leader and gives everyone the opportunity. This concludes the Awards Night Virtual 2020. Thanks for joining us to celebrate. Congratulations to all of whom are in scholarships. Thanks to our community members for all their financial support. Congratulations again to all of those students who earned awards for arts, activities, athletics, academics, and leadership. Seniors, this will not be the last time I address you, but know that you're an amazing class and that I miss you. I recently watched a video created by the Vantage Digital Journalism students, and they shared the following message. When the halls are empty, as you can see they are right now, and the doors are locked, we must open our minds to what is in front of us. The walls of our school do not define us. It is the people in this building that make us who we are. I could not agree more. I could not be prouder of any class. I could not be any happier of how you've led these past four years, how you've cared for each other, and how you excel in everything you do. You know how to keep in front of you what matters, and those are your relationships with each other and you lead with humor, you make each other laugh, and you make me laugh, something I probably miss the most. Stay strong, stay positive, and I would be remiss if I did not say it. Keep it real, Tonka. Well done, and good night.